guys so today I'm gonna do a product review from Born Pretty store they sent me a couple items to review um, you can go online and purchase these items there I'll link them down below there's two different sets that you can choose from both of them come with 12 stamping plates and then a scraper and the stamp itself um, there is the option to purchase without this and then it's like I believe it's like a dollar less if you don't need the stamper and the scraper there's 12 plates all together and they come like this and it's free international shipping so I'll take pictures of these at the end so you guys can see all the different designs but there's actually two different sets you can choose from so I chose the set that had more items that were little and there's also another set that has larger items for your entire nail so I'm gonna go ahead and set up all I'm going to grab is some acetone which I have in here and then you're going to need lint free right wipes and then something that you're going to stamp on for this tutorial I'm just going to use these here which I also got from Born Pretty store um, and then your special polish you don't need special polish you can use regular nail polish if you have that you it works better if you use a thick nail polish I just happen to have Conan special polish so I'm going to go ahead and use that so I'm going to set all this up and then I'll be right back so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your plate and you're just going to pull that open and then just a quick reminder that these plates actually have a clear plastic coating on them so before you start your stamping you want to make sure that you peel that off and most plates are going to have that some of them have um, blue plastic and then some of them have clear like this one here has clear so I'm going to go ahead and set that down. Sorry about the glare. I know my lighting's really off today. Um, it's overcast really bad here. So. so go ahead and grab your special polish and have that ready. And then you're going to get a lint-free wipe. You're just going to get some acetone on that. And you're just going to clean your plate to prepare it. So I'm going to take my black special polish. And then you just pick a design that you're going to want to use. I'm going to use this flower design here. You're going to use your scraper and you're just going to scrape away. You're going to take your stamper. You're going to pick up the image. You can see that there. And you're just going to roll that across the surface you want it on. And there it is. So hopefully you can see that okay. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in and I'm going to do that again. So this time I'll choose a different design. And in between each time you do it, you're going to want to clean your plate. And your scraper. And your stamp. Go ahead and take my black polish. I'm going to choose the design that I want put my polish on, use the scraper, pull it away from the image, I'm going to then take my stamp, pick it up, moving quickly, and then I'm going to transfer. And this little smudge here was from me not taking the time to clean off the stamper when I transferred it. I should have turned it over and cleaned it off like that before stamping okay guys so I just wanted to wrap this up real quick first I wanted to say thank you to born pretty store for sending me these items to review I really appreciate it you can visit their store at bornprettystore.com I'll have the information down below in the description bar and I'll also link the item directly so that you guys can find it that way um, so as far as the items go the plate itself was good quality the image was deep enough to where you could actually pick it up and it came out sharp and crisp um, I did it a few times here so you guys can see and then all I would do is apply a top coat and it's done um, the stamping pad here itself is good quality it's a good rubbery um, it's nice and firm but it has enough give to where it's gonna actually lay the thing down. I didn't have to file this in order to transfer the image. Sometimes you do have to if they're really stiff. And then the scraper itself was good. You know, it's a regular metal scraper. 
It worked very well for taking the polish off, the excess polish off, and cleanup was pretty easy. I just used acetone to clean that up. And then there was 12 plates, and they were all really nice design. I'll go ahead and put those pictures um, on for you after this. And I'll go ahead and run those pictures for you. Um, all 12 plates were really cute. All the images seemed to be really well. I have not opened them all and tried them, but I'm assuming if one works, they all should. Um, I'll go ahead and run those pictures after this so you guys can see all the different images. And as always, thank you guys for watching.